Hello and a very, very, very good evening. My name's Sean Ryan. You're of course watching the Planet Cruise TV show. And this is a show that's been running for over seven years now. We recently celebrated our 400th uh, episode, as it happens. And this is all about live deals. We have got six outstanding cruises to tempt you with right now. If you don't see an off your light, we can actually find you any cruise with any company and make uh, holidays bespoke for you as well. But I'm joined by a great friend of mine who's travelled the world many times. Keith Maynard is with me. Sean, it's very, very, very good to see you. <laughs> don't, st don't start taking the mickey already. I'm excited. We've got a great show, haven't we? We have. We've got an amazing show. It's just because we had the live show on Sunday in Southampton, which was such good fun. Yes. That, we... uh, that I'm, kind of, I'm still buzzing from the banter we had during our Q&A. So thanks to everyone that, that came along to that. Yeah. It was great. Keith and I were at a live cruise show yeah, in Southampton, and um, we got to meet hundreds, I mean, thousands of customers, didn't it we? It was really great. Yeah. It was so nice. So, so many people watched the show and booked with Planet Cruise and experienced all the benefits of, uh, of enjoying such bargains. And, and I'm, I'm going to say it straight away. Everyone said that Keith in real life was was tall, slim, handsome, but on the telly, he also just... <laughs> he looks short and fat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. But he's not at all. It's amazing what yes, the, the long angle can do. But um, <laughs> tonight we've got some amazing deals. But let's just show you some of the pictures from Southampton, actually. Yeah. Uh, it was such a great, this great was, day. This was during the, during the Q&A, of course, when we were, we were busy chatting, answering those questions that we had. And then outside you had all the over 30 different cruise lines that were represented with loads of great bargains to be given on the day. I know that Ruth from Celebrity was going around with her, her chocolatey strawberries, she wasn't was. she? Um, there you can see the celebrity stand there. She was busy selling away. And we love we love oh, this couple. Of this there. couple actually got married on board with P with P and O about eighteen months ago. Yeah. Lovely, lovely couple. And, and they both previously been married and lost their partner sadly. And they got together and they got married. And that's right. Yeah, and yeah, enjoyed life. It was such lovely to chat to. And then we've got uh, I think it's Deborah and Eric here from from uh, from Dulwich in London. So and big hello to you. And they've been on twenty and twenty one cruises. Absolutely, yes. amazing, absolutely amazing. So Eric normally works nights, so hopefully he'll be watching this. He says he always records the show. And this is the one. This is Shirley and Bill. Uh, again, great, great couple that, that cruise regularly. And, yeah, they, uh, they put us in our place, didn't they? They did. They, did. they were really funny, <laughs> particularly Bill. He was good fun. <laughs> so thank you to, to everyone that, that, that joined us. Uh, and we all want to also say thank you to all of our regular viewers. We, you know, we really learned that so many of you tune in every single Tuesday, which is really nice. But we also want to welcome new viewers, of course. We do. And just sorry that we couldn't show all the different photos that we took, because there are so many. But they're going to be put over the next few shows in the, in the following yeah. weeks. Well, um, so Keith and I are here to talk you through all the deals. Like Keith has travelled the world, worked on the cruise ships for 12 years. I've been on 20 cruises so between us. Between us, we know, we know a little bit about the cruise industry. Yes, we, we like, do. Which we like to share, uh, particularly giving you all the port knowledge. And on today's show... Uh, some fantastic deals. We've got a great Christmas markets cruise, haven't we? We're, we're cruising maritime. Yeah, that's under £170, isn't it? It is under £170. It's got a wonderful chance to go to New Zealand and Australia with celebrity cruises on the solstice. Uh, and then we've got a cracking chance to go to Niagara, see the falls, and then do a Caribbean cruise. And that's a lower price as well, isn't it? A much it? lower price than normal, yeah. We've got loads of bargains and a great Viking River cruise. Yeah. Really and we are going to start the show off with Thompson, and it will fly, believe me, mm. the Thompson cruise will fly. But we really want to remind you of the, the many reasons why you should book with Planet Cruise because, you know, there are cruise experts, ready to take calls with genuine first-hand knowledge, outstanding track for customer service. That's so important. Yep, 97% on online rating for our customer service at the moment. And uh, Planet Cruise, they work with all the cruise lines and all the ships worldwide to bring you the best variety. Uh, we can tailor make all cruise holidays to suit your needs. So if you want, you know, hotel stays, pre and post cruise, if you, if you need... Um, say different flights, different airports, we can sort all that out for you and buy a service as well. And we are open seven days a week and the best price is guaranteed. And we are at all and out to protect it as well. The phone line's open until 10.30 tonight. They are open until 10.30 tonight. And we should say, open until 10.30 tonight. If you find something we have on the TV or on the, on the website, che cheaper elsewhere, which I don't think you're going to, then come back and yeah. speak to us because we, we, we will price match as well. Uh, and beyond that, the really, really important thing, Sean, is the fact that, just like you said, everyone that works for us cruises regularly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so important. And we're the number one seller for most of the cruises that we sell. So you're going to see that with little drop downs all the way through the show. And I think that's reflecting the prices you get. Talk of prices have you noticed that price on your screen uh, <laughs> under 500 pounds oh. and this is for an outside as this well, is for an outside yeah this is, this is an amazing deal on Thompson celebration one of my old ships that i was cruise director of had many great years on board Thompson celebration sailing around the red sea and the mediterranean well everyone, everyone we spoke to at the cruise show said that you know they love thompson because of the fun the great service anyway let's take you on board and have a little look yeah 
Uh, you, say, you totally said it there, it's a British product. Uh, we all know about the Thompson Holidays, of course, and their cruise line now has been wowing people for many, many years. They've got a massive lot of following. In fact, if you go online, you look at their entertainment, it's actually the highest rated uh, for the mid-sized ship category. Is it? Uh, absolutely, in the world. It really, really is. Um, the ships are really fun, they're really welcoming. They're smaller ships. Uh, there's, only, there's only around about three or four ships in the fleet, and therefore the crew um, tend to stay on the same ships, and, and therefore you, it's a real family atmosphere that builds on board. Lo always great depth parties sailing away from ports, a great selection of different cuisine that you can enjoy. Um, and you've got amazing entertainment, you've got these West End style shows, you've got UK guest comedians coming on, and you've got the chances to pull up a sunbed and sunbathe and soak up the atmosphere. There's always great other, other evening entertainment as well, they call it on board, great game shows, uh, great things happening out around the pool. So really, whatever you want to do, you can find it on a Thompson Cruise. And remember, all your tips are included, and that's really rare in the cruise industry. It's a very friendly, very tailored product with a personal touch. So again, if you're looking at that price there, you know, under £500, all your tips included, an outside cabin, your flights as well, we'll talk about those in a second, and the, the best time that you could imagine. There's me on stage, giving a little bit of a number. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely, honestly, it's, it's really, really good fun, the shows, yeah. and, and, and their, their entertainment gets standing ovations on a nightly basis. Um, so this really is a great bargain for an outside on Thompson. Uh, and actually, it's it's a, a very rare repositioning cruise as well. So we do expect this one to sell very quickly. We actually had a, a, a cruise with Thompson that was a repositioning one a few weeks ago, and it was a top seller. Mm. This one will go. You need to give us a call as soon as possible. And it's a really nice actually because we, we fly from Birmingham. Which is brilliant for any, any guests that live... Up of Lon up past London, yeah. isn't it? It's brilliant, you know. And then straight over to Dubrovnik. That's as well. right, yeah. And then uh, you're sailing out of Dubrovnik. It's an amazing city on the Adriatic. As you sail past, maybe a little bit of the Game of Thrones that's being filmed, uh, constantly being filmed there, and you can normally watch it. That wonderful walled city. And then your first port of call is Corfu, and this is one of the most beautiful islands in the Mediterranean. It, it's said to cast a spell on those that land there. Shakespeare set the tempest here. You've got millions of silvery olive trees gracing the hillside. The scent of lemon blossom in the air. You've got a great old town to explore, a great place to sit down in one of the tavernas and get a Greek salad. Maybe you can head up to the Chilean Palace, renowned for its architecture, where they filmed uh, the, the, the James Bond film For Your Eyes Only. Or you can soak up the, the views from Bella Vista. It's also a great beach island, so there's loads of beaches yeah, for you to course. enjoy. Then we're going on to Sicily. Messina is the port. Uh, this is where Shakespeare set much to do about nothing, so it's almost a, a tour of some of Shakespeare's greatest works. And here, you've got a wonderful sickle-shaped harbour. Um, you've got an amazing town clock at 12 o'clock. It's one of the, it's the largest mechanical clock in the world. Uh, and at 12 o'clock, it reenacts the town's history. It's amazing. Go and see it. But of course, Sicily's star turn is Mount Etna. A wonderful, huge, barren and lush mountain um, that's still got this great fiery atmosphere. Heading up there on the old railways, one of the best ways to see it. Um, you can also visit Taramalina. Um, and from there, they frame Etna in the Greek theatre, and it's one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see. Or do a Godfather tour, walk in the footsteps of Marlon Brando and Al Pacino. Then we're going through to Naples, so we're now in the deep south of Italy. This is the most red-blooded part of Italy, I like to say. You know, they're, they're, they're darker, darker skinned here than the rest of Italy. It's almost like a different part of Italy, like a different country, yeah. crossing the road. It has got quite a vibe, hasn't it? A yeah. real vibe, Naples, yeah. And of course, you've got so much on your front doorstep. You've got the history of Pompeii and Herculaneum. There's a great museum in the middle of this of the city itself, which is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. You can also head out to places like Capri, the jet set island of Capri. It's only a 40 minute ride out uh, to enjoy that. Or head up the Amalfi Coast to towns like Postiano, Sorrento. It's so much you can do here. Of course, it's the birthplace of pizza, so get a pizza and just sit back and enjoy. Then we're Rome. Uh, this is amazing, of course. A chance for you to go and say hello to the Pope, uh, to see Vatican City, um, the wonderful Sistine Chapel. So much history. You know, you've got all the great, the great fountains that are around every corner. And of course, you've got an amazing uh, culture of food in Rome as well. Just remember to stand up and don't sit down. If you're getting a drink, they'll charge you double as soon as you sit down. And then you've got the history of places like the Colosseum where the gladiators used to fight. And of course, the Roman Forum where people like Julius Caesar once walked. I was amazed how accessible everything was, actually. Very accessible. Yeah. It is good with Rome to do to do a tour because you know if you've only got a day to see it you know you want to you want to do an organized tour um, then a relaxing day at sea before we go to Cartagena uh, this is in a deep bay guarded by clifftop fortresses it's a Spanish gem that's quite rare it's a real maritime city that the Spanish Navy dock here you've got an old Greek theater that you've just seen the, the pictures of here uh, wonderful wide promenades and you've got the Costa Calida a region that boasts some of Spain's mildest weather and 175 miles of beaches on your front doorstep plus La Manga you want to go and see the expat paradise well 
Back to Malaga. Back to Malaga. And then back home. Now you think about all the, the, the ports and the countries you're visiting there and the fact that you can get this offer for under £500 tonight. You know, speaking to, to regular cruisers um, on Sunday, so, so many of the ladies and gents that I, met, that I met said they would never, ever book a land holiday now. You know, why would you? Well, the value just doesn't add up, Sean, does it? And the fact, the amount that you can do, you unpack once and you see multiple destinations and the service just can't be beaten on a cruise ship. Well, the uh, offer tonight, uh, for under £500, is, uh, this one I think will go really quickly. You get an upgrade from inside to outside. So you have all of that natural light. You get all of those lovely views. Uh, prices are based on Birmingham, but we'll show you the prices for some of the other airports right now because we have got Glasgow, London, wow. Gatwick, Manchester or New Newcastle. So those are the prices well, still, you're driving. Still good, those flights from really Glasgow good. there, really good as well. And Gatwick and Manchester, brilliant for our, our northern based guests. But if you do want to go for Birmingham, you can get the price of 499 Amazing. Yeah, it really is. But that one will go fast and there's only one date, of course, for it, the 22nd of October. Give us a call tonight if you possibly can, our first thing tomorrow morning. But... Did you know, Keith, it's only 11 days till I go on my princess cruise? Oh, Did you know oh, that? You, go. you just spend your life cruising. <laughs> I'm going to sit, I'm going to meet, we'll, we'll be there in our, in our 80s and 90s, <laughs> won't we? And we'll be, we'll be we're laying on the well, sunbed with a, a cup of hot well, chocolate. Well, I met a couple that would uh, done, done 100 cruises and that's what I want to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? There's no better yeah. way to spend your time, <laughs> is there? But yeah, I'm yeah. really looking forward to, to cruising with princess. Um, now, I'm not going on this ship, but... You went on the Royal Princess on Friday, didn't I you? I did. You can see we're the number one uh, UK travel agent for Princess. I just visited there on Friday, the Royal Princess. Of course, the godmother of this ship is none other than the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton. Yeah. Um, and you see a wonderful uh, photograph of her in the centre. That's the Sea Walk, which yeah. you walked off. Um, you know, again, How amazing. amazing. It stretches out from the sea. It's the, it's the first time in the industry they've done that. Uh, not for one if you've got vertigo. It's a wonderful, spacious ship. You know, there's a wonderful sense of space. Never feels crowded on board. It's very, very well designed. You've got a luxurious spa that you can enjoy. Oh, um, wow. You know, that's nice. the main atrium there. And again, spontaneous entertainment. When we were on board, the, the show team came out and gave a wonderful um, song and dance spectacular just for us being on board. You know, even the bartenders entertain you. This is, again, on the other side of the seawalk, you get the bar with the seawalk. So again, while you're drinking, you're looking down and seeing the waves below as you're knocking back a couple of cheeky cocktails. Live music all over the ship. Um, great selection of different food, Sean. Um, and Keith, also, I cannot believe how beautiful this looks. It's a very beautiful yeah. ship, it really is. That's why they've got the Duchess of Cambridge, a very beautiful lady. Of course. Be the godmother. Um, and again, food from all over the world for you to enjoy. They do the wonderful thing here where they have the chef's table, where just 12 people get cooked for specially. That's the fountain show up on deck every night. And the largest, the largest, um, that's the wonderful sea screen that they put outside for movies under the stars. And you get free popcorn brought round to you. I tell you what, Keith, when you're going on a, you know, a very new ship, there, it's so nice, isn't it? It's so nice because everything's so spanking new. Yeah. It's a great atmosphere on board. And I think ship designs have just got better and better. They use they? space so well now. Yeah. Sure. Every single bit of space is used. The shows here in the main theatre are stunning. It's a great theatre. And you've also got Princess Live, their own TV studio, where you can be a studio audience watching the cruise director do his daily TV show, watching some great lectures, some great guest speakers. Um, it's a really, really impressive ship. And just looking even at the inside state rooms, they're stunning. Great, great, great cabins. You know, you've got 37 inch flat screen TV. TVs, you get powerful massage shower heads in the cabin, um, and you know, a queen size beds, you know, it really is very luxurious. Uh, and what an amazing price we've got tonight. You know, this is such a, a beautiful ship, and you can get away in July when the weather's gonna be great for 859. I mean, it's been brilliant at the moment, it's set to get even hotter, and where better than to explore your own front doorstep? Yeah, so true. Well, uh, you can take as much luggage as you like because you're cruising from Southampton. Yeah. So you really can, you know, really pack for the, the whole the whole 12 nights. And where are we going first? Then, okay, Kate? so going first of all to Guernsey, the only place that was occupied by the Germans in World War II. You can still go and see the Nazi fortifications that's, that dot the island. Um, and it's an amazing place, one of the most prettiest harbours. Go and try some of the local food. It's an, it's an old salty haunt of the sea dogs. Then from St. Peter's Port, after you visited the cows, you're then going over to Cork. Uh, Cove is the port, of course, uh, the last port that the Titanic sailed from, um, and it's an incredible romantic chance for you to go and kiss the Blarney Stone um, and, and go and see this amazing part, Blarney Castle, and also the Ring of Kerry, which I, I rode on my motorbike several times. You then go through to Dublin, a gracious and cosmopolitan city sitting on the River Liffey, one of Europe's premier destinations, the home of the black stuff. You can go and drink it at the Guinness factory, where they still only cost them a pound a year for that uh, to, for, to stay there. It's quite incredible. Got the old gal that you can visit there, and Trinity College, of course, 
where you can see the legendary Book of Kells. I also recommend the castle. The castle is stunning, dates back to the 13th century. Okay, then we're moving from Dublin across the water to Liverpool. Amazing home of the Beatles, of course. I love the Albert Dock, which is right on the waterfront there, and it's been there since 1846. You can trace the, the history of the Beatles. You can see the three graces, uh, which you're, and of course, Liverpool is a, is, a, is a city of cathedrals. Two great cathedrals there at either end, um, and it's worth going to see them. Um, and also, if you want, go and see the Lake District, because that's when you find yeah, the from Liverpool. Then we're going through to Belfast, stretching along both sides of the River Lagan. It's a beautiful, graceful city, full of Victorian and Edwardian buildings. Gives you a chance to head out to the Giant's Causeway, one of the most iconic features of the whole of, uh, well, out of the whole of the UK, really. You've also got a chance there to go and do the Carricka Reedy Rope Bridge. My mum and dad did that for their honeymoon. Got a wonderful picture of them. And the Titanic Museum. Yeah, um, the I'd Titanic like Museum is stunning there. It will bring a tear to the eye. Then we're going through to Glasgow. Uh, the port is Greenock, but it's a chance to go to Glasgow. Uh, on the River Clyde, the home of so much great shipbuilding, so many of uh, great liners of the past built here. Um, and you've got a great chance again to go shopping. In fact, most people don't know this, but Glasgow is one of the best places to shop in the UK. It also features a wonderful cathedral uh, dating back to the 12th century, and it's your chance to go through to Loch Lomond. Okay, relaxing day at sea before we go through to Invergordon, which is your port for Inverness. This is your gateway to the Highlands. It's also your chance to go through uh, to Loch Ness and see if you can see that wee beast there. That's my terrible Scottish accent. Apologies to any Scottish guests there. No, no, but it's it was too bad. Cordor Castle, that's where um, but... Beth, of course, resided. It's a wonderful, I love Inverness. It's a wonderful port of call. Then we're going through to South Queen's Ferry, which is your chance to go to Edinburgh. Beautiful city. My brother's up there at the moment uh, with his wife. It's, oh, I love it's Edinburgh. It's fabulous, isn't it? Brilliant. I was there over Christmas and New Year, Sean, and you can't go any better for Hogmanay. Uh, Georgian and Victorian architecture, and you've got the fabulous Royal Mile in between the Holyrood House and, of course, the amazing, amazing... Um, castle that sits on top of the rock and then we've got a relaxing day at sea before we then go over to France Le Havre your chance to go and course and see Paris to go and see the, the Eiffel Tower another river based city here to go maybe and see the Louvre these wonderful graceful bridges that cross over the river the Arc de Triomphe one of the most famous iconic pictures I always remember that the V-Day celebrations and pictures of that as well um, and you've got a chance as well to go through to the D-Day beaches if you want to check out all the cemeteries or head to Enfleur a beautiful 17th century harbour in Normandy so much to do uh, and then of course back to Southampton um, I will let you know we, we have sold out of the, the balcony and the mini suite on the 20th of July so they've actually gone um, this is a flash sale offer so obviously limited availability um, our advice would be if you can stay at the Mean Valley Marriott the night before it just makes it easy particularly if you're traveling quite away to Southampton just means you're not in a rush on the day and we get a very special price for them £75 per person and it's a private transfer as well yeah. so that's so nice they book it on when you want to go and when you want to be picked up that's so rare I mean, you get it's so worth it. You'll be stuck in a minibus for everyone else. You no. get a private tax transfer. It's great. Um, and uh, massive savings, only three hundred pounds tonight as well. Now, I mentioned we've already had sellout. So uh, the twentieth of July, it's only what three weeks away. Uh, we've got the interior left at eight five nine. So you're gonna have to be super quick for that. Not too bad on the first of August. Uh, and the 13th of August, we have sold out again of the bulk in the mini suite, but we've got the interior available. And I have to say, looking at those interior staterooms, Keith, they're stunning, aren't they? I, w I went into one, very spacious, well designed, and they all have almost like a walk in wardrobe to them. So, oh, really? Really, yeah, it's like it's just around the side, and it's really, really cleverly designed, Sean. So, um, give us a call for that one, I think it looks amazing. Mm. I'm very envious that you've been on that gorgeous ship. But, we're moving on to a biggie. Now, this is um, a previous TV top seller at a higher price. So this is going to be mega tonight, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really, and, really And we've all been talking about it. I mean, your chance of really going over to the Niagara Falls, New York, and to top it off, an amazing Caribbean cruise. But let's start off with your flight to Toronto and this amazing experience to see the Niagara Falls. Yeah. What are they like, Keith? Amazing, amazing. I mean, breathtaking is probably the word to describe it. Look at that. That's what you. That's what you greeted. The sound I mean, is, is stunning imagine. itself. The, the amount of mist that's coming. In fact, that ship you're seeing down there's the Maid of the Mist, uh, which is one of the things you can do when you go right out to the edge of where the water plummets down. And when you're thinking about this, um, you've got these just hundreds. I mean, in fact, in the sense of taller waterfalls, there are. It's only 50th, but it's the widest uh, waterfall in the world, and it's, it's amazing, particularly lit up at night. Um, you can drive along the picturesque Niagara Parkway and see all the cherry blossom trees. You can go to the Niagara Wine Trail. Um, um, and you can also, you have a, included in this, a journey behind the falls tour. 
okay, where you get to actually journey behind the falls. That must be amazing. Ab absolutely stunning. I mean, I spent three nights here, we, 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 uh, and I absolutely loved it. Okay, then you we... were going to say with an ex-girlfriend. I was. I stopped myself. <laughs> I stopped myself because you keep on telling me off. I'm not allowed to mention ex-girlfriends anymore. No, you've got okay. Melanie now. You're yeah. not allowed. Exactly. And yeah. I'm very happy. Good. Okay, uh, then we're going through. Uh, you're going to make your way on board the Amtrak, an Amtrak train. You're going to head through to New York. And this is absolutely stunning because you, the Amtrak train itself is an amazing chance to, to view uh, the wonderful countryside. But then you hit the city that never sleeps. A chance for you to shop till you drop in Macy's in Bloomingdale's. Maybe climb the, the, the wonderful Empire State Building, which is, remains the tallest building in New York City. Um, maybe amble around Central Park, uh, 843 acres, including an ice skating rink, a, a zoo, the strawberry fields, the, uh, the wonderful ode there to John Lennon. You've got Times Square, which is magical, where you can get all the open top buses. You've got Broadway, and you're going to be there in, in enough time for you to maybe book a night and, and Yeah, I was just going to say, I've, I've, I've done a cruise with two nights in New York, which are great, but three nights, that little bit of extra time. Absolutely. Is so what I'm going to say is try the bagels, try the cheesecake, without a doubt, go to Broadway, go to Times Square and the view from the top of the rock, uh, the Rockefeller Centre is absolutely stunning. I do a bit of shopping ladies because the prices are ridiculously low. Really, 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 really good. Yeah, in fact I'd say take an empty suitcase. Yeah, I would. Just fill it up because you get really good bargains, particularly with the exchange rate at the moment. Yeah. Um, and of course Lady Liberty awaits you, Ellis Island, you can take the ferry over there, see if your heritage, uh, if any of your ancestors are, are made the journey over. Uh, incredible, incredible port of call. Uh, very romantic. Walk Brooklyn Bridge is worth you get a chance. You will be sailing under it, which is a magical experience anyway, on your way out. But to walk over it is something which and is quite romantic and quite magical. And we should say that you know any hotels that Planet Cruise are including in your holiday will always be top class hotels in great locations. Absolutely. With great reviews and again, all your transfers are included. Yeah. Okay, so we're moving on from this now. We've had this wonderful stay in this amazing city, and then you're embarking the Norwegian Gem Shop. Um, just to clarify, Keith, I know um, all the transfers are included. You just got it from the um, just going to the train station. You make your own way there, don't you? Just the taxi. That's it. It's the only one. Yes. It's the only one you can't do because um, because it's literally the only way you can do it is by is by a taxi. Yeah, so really you can't easy. book that. Yeah. It's really easy. It just takes a very very short amount of time. Yeah. But we've then got this amazing cruise. Yeah, you do. Relaxing days at sea on board, and this is this is the ship. Uh, an incredible Norwegian yeah. cruise line, of course, freestyle cruising. Yeah, and I really like, I, I've cruised with them three times, and I've really enjoyed it because it is relaxed and there's no set dining time. It is. If your view of cruising is having to dress up every night, having to wear a dicky bow, it will be very formal, then this will, will, will blow that out of the water because it's very relaxed. It's all about having, uh, basically doing everything on your time, uh, open seating in the, in the, for all the dining options, and there are loads of dining options. You know, we're talking about French bistro, steakhouses, sushi bars. Um, you've got the Chocoholics buffet they have every... That is really every, good. Every cruise, which <laughs> yeah. is stunning. Did, did you know, still do that, Keith? They still do that oh, on board. I love that. You know, you've got these amazing spas. You've got so much you can do on board. We've seen the temp in bowling or the arcades, but there's also the shows. Uh, you know, it's all very interactive. Outside on the open decks, you've got a great party atmosphere, you know, with these kind of open bars where there's, you know, the kind of music blares out and you've got a wonderful chance to really uh, soak up, meet new people. Cruising is very, very social. It really is. It's a great chance to meet new people. Obviously, a well-equipped gym where you can either uh, relax in the spa and get a massage or you can get stuck into to working off some of that great food that you're going to be tucking into. It's the only time I ever really use a gym because, I, you know, you have the time and it's wonderful just looking out at the ocean. It know? is. It's a, right. it's, it's a magical thing to do. And then, of course, in the evening, whether it's casino, whether it's the shows, whether it's going and having an amazing meal. But look at these shows, Sean, as well. The Cirque du Soleil acrobatics that are included in these all singing, all dancing extravaganzas. I mean, these are incredible floating resorts. Anyway... You've got this amazing cruise ship. You've got your first few days at sea, so lots to do there. And where are we going to first of all? Okay? San Juan is San your Juan. first port of call. It's the oldest city under the American flag. Verdant peaks, tropical forests, gleaming white sand beaches. You can wander old San Juan where you've got blue cobblestones and Spanish colonial buildings. And you've also got Casa Bacardi, the home of Bacardi, to go and do a few tastings. I recommend that. Or hike the El Yunque rainforest in search of the rare tree frog. And if you find him, say hello from me. Then you're going through to St. Thomas. I know one of your favourite Sean Charlotte Amelie is the port. I know you and your mum relaxed on Mackins Bay. We did on her 70th birthday. Yeah, uh, beautiful the, beach. Well, one of the most best, and in fact, National Geographic says it's one of the best in the world. I, I would agree. Um, you can do this the Skyline Drive, which rides the length of St. Thomas for magnificent views. Um, you can even enjoy Coral World, which gives you 360 degree underwater views of the fish and other sea creatures. It's an undersea aquarium that's actually in the sea. It's stunning. Um, it's a beautiful place, of course, named after the Queen of Denmark. A little bit of 
trivia there for you. Okay, uh, then you've got Philipsburg, St. Martin. Uh, this is a part of the Caribbean where two different countries uh, part own the same country. It's part Dutch, it's part French. You dock in the Dutch side. It's very small, isn't it? Very small. You can do, you know, hire a car or a bike and go around the whole island, is something I'd recommend. In the Dutch side, it's a duty free paradise, loads of bargains to be had. You're seeing the crew coming back with their, their, their DVD players and their iPads and everything. Um, it's great for the beaches. On the far side, there's the airport beach, which I recommend. I used to take yeah, a nice nice scenes there. Yeah. The planes, it's right by the airport. The planes come in so low, they, they suck you out of the water. If you, get, if you get it just right. I'm not recommending it, but, it, but it's say, really, really yeah. good fun. Um, and then you get a chance, of course, to go to the Butterfly Farm, which is also great. And the America's Cup Regatta. It's the number one tour in the Caribbean for the last 12 years. The old, the old sailing boats, and you get to crew them and race against another I've boat. I've never done that. Really good fun. Then finally, Tortola. Um, and this is incredible, of course. Um, it's part of the British Virgin Islands or the BVI. You've got lovely places like Apple Bay and Smuggler's Cove. And then, of course, you've got the Virgin Gorda, legendary um, because it's a, an amazing sea of baths and sea pools that you can swim and snorkel through, tunnels and caves, very romantic. Um, you can also swim with dolphins here, which I've done several times. I mean, what a trip this is, isn't it? Um, and then the final couple of days at sea, just enjoy the ship, all of the great free facilities. Sunbathe on deck, yeah. great weather. Yeah, you're going to get great weather, aren't yeah. you? Um, and then, of course, back to New York when you disembark and you've got your flight to the UK. So let's just see what's included. Um, this has been on the show before. We've got the best price we've seen right now. Uh, the price is even lower at 1349. I think it came down a little bit more today, actually. Now, my advice is going to be on this one. Wait to see the prices. You can get an ocean view for £150 uh, more. So starting at £150 more, and you get a free drinks package if you do that as well. You've got the Niagara Falls journey behind the Falls tour, return flights based on London, and that, uh, remember, amazing stay in New York as well. The free, 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 free drinks package on ocean view and above is, is absolutely incredible. That's really good. Um, and uh, so you also get the two nights in Niagara there as well. Now, price-wise, look at this. We've got loads of great dates from October to April. And Keith, I'm just looking. They sell them on March the 16th. The difference between inside and Ocean View is only £150. And you I get know. a drinks package then. And you get you? a drinks package, and w which is, again, it's absolutely common. You will save a lot of money, particularly if you like a couple of drinks every day. Yeah. And again, that's not just that's not just alcoholic drinks. It's whether you want virgin cocktails or you just want, you know, everything's included in it. So it's really good value. And it just means you don't have to worry. You know, you, you know that all your drinks are taken care of. But um, so this one has been a top seller in the past, and we've got even better prices tonight. So do give us a call for that one as soon as you possibly can. Right. Ooh. Now, I've, I've been very lucky to, to go on 20 cruises, but I've never done a river cruise. And when I do, and I will do a river cruise, and I'll do it with Viking, because mm. they're the number one, aren't they? They are the number one. They've been voted uh, best river cruise line for about the fifth year in a wow. row. Uh, they're absolutely stunning, Sean. And the ships, you know, five-star luxury. Uh, it really is a beautiful experience sailing. And, and we will let you know that they, the, the, the river cruises with Viking are sailing so fast. Um, we are on to 2016 dates with many of the itineraries, so you really do need to book up on these. But, um, Keith, we're going to just look into Viking and just tell the viewers a little bit about the brand, aren't we? Yeah, so there's something... I mean, they were founded in 1997, we should say that first of all, and since then they have just been sprinting, literally sprinting. There was no walking, they just started sprinting straight away because they've expanded at such a rate. The feedback they get is immense, and that's because they give the real personal touch. You're not talking about big, uh, big ships here, you're talking about only being amongst a couple of hundred people and being looked after with a real personal touch. Literally anything you ask for will be sorted. We mentioned before, voted Best River Cruise Line at the prestigious British Travel Awards for a fifth year in a row. You'll see the cabins there with floor to ceiling, um, uh, kind of balcony patio doors there that you're looking through. In fact, that's the case when you go into the restaurants, when you go into the bars. So lots of light and space. Loads of light. They're, 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 they're designed specifically for the river they sail on, so they've all got a slight special touch. And again, um, oh, wow. <laughs> amazing food and really, really good, uh, really good service. Now, a lot of the food is brought on in the ports that you go on to because they're calling in every day to different places and the menus reflect where they're sailing to. So you'll come back from a tour which is included um, in, in, in the price of what you're seeing there. So and all the, the tours? Yeah, is. yeah. well, well there, there's several optional ones that you can do, but there's a great, a great amount of actual tours that are included oh, okay, in the lovely. cost. And then there's a few additional ones if you wanted to. Um, but the amazing thing, the amazing thing about it, Sean, is yeah, you have that tour that's been included. You'll come back and then you'll have the local specialities served up for you. Or maybe you'll be eating in, in a castle out in the middle of a, the vineyards and the mountains somewhere. Uh, it really is a very, very stunning 
very special experience. It, it, it sounds magical, doesn't it? And talking of which, we, we do have a, a, a magical price tonight. If you've got the, uh, the brochure prices next to you, do, just check them out because we've got an amazing deal. Um, and I've got to say, some beautiful places on this one. Yeah, really, really good, really good. Now, we're going to take you through in detail, but just to start it, you're going to see a, a little bit of video that's just going to show you a few highlights of where we're sailing from Lisbon that we'll go into in a little bit more detail later. And then you're going to sail uh, through the, the Juro River. Uh, and it's going to be an amazing chance. You'll be stopping in, uh, in, in Porto after you've gone to Lisbon and then setting sail from there. And you're going to get a great chance to experience the heart of the, Portugal, the Portuguese landscape sailing through landscapes, sailing through people's back gardens, through to Lamego. You're going to get a chance to go through to the Mateus Palace, which you often see on the glasses. You know, you're going to get a chance to go and explore independently if you want to, but again, there's loads of free tours, and it's always a good balance because you normally have a free tour in the morning and then a chance to explore on your own in the afternoon. Um, Salamanca, where you're going to go and have a great flamenco show put on specially for you in your own private residence. Um, and it really has, in a sense, this kind of feel, that's the Mateus Palace there. You know, you have it on the, the Mateus Rosé, which everyone, yeah, yeah. everyone loves to drink. <laughs> um, certainly I, I have in the past. Uh, you're also going to have a chance uh, to go and visit the Jura Wine District, uh, an Esco World Heritage Site, and of course head back uh, into Lamego and Ragura and some great highlights of Portugal. Looks um, really special, doesn't it? So, Keith, you want to go through this in just a bit more detail for us now, Yeah, you? OK, so you're flying to Lisbon. You've got a two-night stay in a first-class hotel. And again, just like the ships, it's going to be a very, very classy place to stay. Everything's taken care of for you. Uh, and then, of course, you can explore this amazing city that sits on Batagas River. You've got the Bellum Tower. You've got this mighty bridge. You've got Sintra that you can head out to. You've seen pictures of there. But it's a city of hills and, and bright yellow trams and custard tarts. You've got included in this um, a great half-day tour of Lisbon, a walking tour of the Alfama district, which is one of the most uh, beautiful districts in the heart of Lisbon. Um, so you've got a walking tours included. Now, I always say explore Lisbon by the trams. That's the Bellum Tower dating back to the 15th century. Tram 15 takes you out to the Bellum Tower. It also takes you out to the Monument of Discovery and it also takes you out to the, the tomb of Vasco da Gama and the wonderful old monastery that's out there. You can also do Tram 28, you pick it up from St George's Castle and I do, do recommend you go to St George's Castle because the view of Lis Lisbon from there is second to none and you pick up Tram 28 and you enjoy it as it goes down the backs here and up the Bade Auto, listening to Fado echoing off the, the, the sounds of the stone and the smell of fresh uh, uh, bread baking, oh, uh, you know, wonderful. ladies hanging out there. You know, they're, they're kind of linens. It's incredible. Um, then um, you're literally going to, after that two night stay, you then check out the next day on, on day three. You have breakfast. And then on the way to Porto, they even put something extra in. You're going to stop at Coimbra. This is the birthplace of six Portuguese kings, and it's home to one of Europe's oldest universities. Wonderful, great chance for you to do that. So, again, something en route to joining the ship. And are we stopping for lunch? Is that right? Uh, that's right, yes. You, 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 stop, you stop for lunch there. And then you head to the ship. And after boarding, you get settled in for a st into your stateroom and have a welcome cocktail and dinner served. You're overnighting there in Porto before the next day you have a city tour, again included. And it's going to take you through this riverside community, this historic UNESCO World Heritage Site full of graceful bridges and baroque cathedrals and romantic 16th century buildings on these narrow cobbled streets. Uh, in the afternoon then you can explore Porto on your own and you get an optional excursion if you want to uh, to Guermes, which is another UNESCO World Heritage Site um, dating back to the 12th century. It was the home of uh, Portugal's first king, Don Alfonso Henriques. Then in the evening, you rejoin your ship um, and you head off then. It's an amazing chance because in the evening, after you've gone from Bitios down the river a little bit, you then disembark and you go to 11th century Apuldura Monastery and it's there that they give you a folk, folk concert, uh, all included again, and a dinner. Traditional folk concert and dinner, and it's Fado music, the traditional music of Portugal. Beautiful. Then the next day, day five, you sail back along Majuro into Ragua. Uh, after lunch, you disembark for a tour of Villa Real, and then you go to the, the Mateus Palace that we talked about before. Here it is. Um, you know it from the Mateus uh, Rose wine labels and the other wines they do. It's a stunning Baroque palace. Uh, it was the home to the last count of Villa Real. Beautiful chance for you to explore that. And then on your way back, you visit Quinta de Sexo, which is one of the best places to make port wine, which of course Portugal is famous for. You see the vineyard, you tour the facility, do a few cheeky tastings, and then you rejoin your ship in Pinhao for dinner. 
Then the next morning, the uh, next day, day six, again you sail east along Majuro, and then you basically sail through the Valeria and the, and the Pincino Dams, which are quite stunning. You see here this, this great oh, opportunity. Yeah. And then you'll arrive at Barça de Alva, which is just not far, quite, quite close to the Spanish border, about, about lunchtime. And then you get a half day tour to Figuerera de Castillo Rodrigo. Forgive my pronunciation if you do speak Portuguese. It's 2,200 foot above sea level, 16th century, amazing place. And again, it's there that you can trace back the, the Jewish community and the Spanish Inquisition. Never suspect the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, then, the next day on day seven, you get a full day excursion to Salamanca in Spain, a world heritage site, a living museum that takes you back to the Middle Ages, yet a cosmopolitan and multicultural city of today. You have lunch served in a local restaurant and you get an unforgettable flamenco show. Whack out the castanets, stick on your high heels, give a flourish of rose in your mouth. <laughs> Get your, get your dress flourishing, Sean, and off you go. <laughs> you also go to the 13th century Salamanca University. It's incredible. Great, great day. Then the next day, day eight, then you're going to sail west along the Juro, passing through vineyards. You may catch uh, glimpses of uh, vintners tending their vines. Uh, and then you're going to drive up to the village of Favius. Basically, you're making your way back the way you've come. Loads more to do here. You're going to visit some of the bakeries in Majura River Valley. Uh, you're going to have lunch in a rustic old century, uh, centuries old winery in the heart of Majura Wine District. You're going to sample some of the local varieties of port, such as Moscatel. Uh, and then literally the next day, you then arrive back in Ragua. After breakfast, you do a visit to Lamigo. Uh, you go to this amazing sanctuary of Our Lady. Um, and it's just, I mean, I, I, can't, I, I don't feel I'm doing it justice because I've not got time, I, Sean. I, I, but there's so much got, included. I think you got a real taste of it. I hope you did. Amazing. You know, you return to your ship and then you have an after you spend the afternoon sailing back along the Juro. Uh, and again, the great thing about river cruising is there's always something to see. Mm. It's not like just when you're out in an ocean you, you can see a sea, which is which is romantic and beautiful. There's always something to see. It's incredible. Yeah. Constant changing scenery. Constant changing, yeah. rolling hills, beautiful vineyards, locals waving at you. Um, Stunning. We will let you know that the, the Viking cruisers we've been featuring over the past few months have been really, really popular and we are getting some amazing prices. Let's just remind you of what's included as well so you know really nice things like free wi-fi you don't have to worry about that and excursions included in every port now i didn't realize we always get complimentary wine beer and soft drinks with your meals on board as well we've got flights available from five uk airports and there are no supplements on those so we've got all five uh, uk airports to choose from there and you have got that pre-stay two nights in a first-class hotel in lisbon as well the price of the game by the way is for a river view as well and some of the highlights as well um in fact do you want to recap some of these kids some of the highlights we've got there absolutely so you're getting a two-night stay in a superior first-class hotel in the heart of lisbon a great chance to explore you get to visit five unesco world heritage sites which is absolutely stunning you get that 11th century apple jewel monastery where you have the traditional folk music concert and dinner Villa Real, where you see the Bra Bra Mateus Palace, the full day excursion to Salamanca, all included with lunch and flamenco show. And then, look at that, the wine and bread repast as you head back in Quinta de la Aviza. Uh, a visada. Oh, my pronunciation's terrible on some of these. Try some local it's ports. St still better than mine, kid. <laughs> now, um, now price wise, this is really interesting. We, we have got massive savings, great prices, but. If you look there, the, the lead date's the 13th of December. The Christmas date, which is actually my birthday, the 20th of December, is exceptional. That's actually lower than some of the dates in October and November. So, I, I, sadly, I haven't got enough holiday allowance to do it. But um, I would actually, do, I'd book that if I could, 20th of December. But you'd be away for Christmas there, which would be absolutely spectacular, wouldn't it? Wow. Um, anyway, my, the only advice I can give, uh, is to call us as soon as possible because, say, uh, dates are selling out fast and furiously on that one. Now, I think for the first time in many years, we've <laughs> got a mini cruise. <laughs> right now. Exactly. Yeah. yeah Only two is, ports. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but it's a great, it's a Christmas markets cruise yeah. from Tilbury. And look at the price. Uh, if you've never been on a cruise, you want a little taster, £169. So this is actually, I'm looking here, amazing value, actually. It's a half price offer. So, yeah. 169. So let's take you on board and have a little look. Yes, it's Cruise and Maritime. They are a, a British company now that, that basically operate adult friendly ships. This is the Magellan. It's new uh, to Cruise and Maritime for uh, this year. Uh, carries just over 1,200 passengers. 
uh, and this is a classic cruise ship. So you've got, you've got none of the kind of gimmicks that you might find on some of the bigger, newer ships. This is classic cruising. Wide open teak decks, big promenade deck, um, lots of place for you just to sit and enjoy and watch as you sail past. You've got uh, great deck parties on board. It's a British atmosphere on board. It's British entertainment. Everything's very, very familiar if you are based from the UK. You've got great service on there, a very friendly crew, um, and you've got a great range of onboard facilities, good guest speaker program. They also do a lot of crafting on there, so if you are a oh, fan of the Ideal World Craft yeah. Channel, um, you can really get involved with crafting on here. They have crafters coming on board, and you can you know, do the card making and, uh, and lots of lace, you know, do stuff with lace and various other bits and pieces. It's got all the facilities you expect on a modern cruise ship with the salon, the spa, um, with, with a chance for you to relax with live music being played for you and a great chance really in a sense just to unwind, have a great show every night, meet a super friendly crew, not be surrounded by thousands of people but more hundreds and you know, feel that you've got a ship that's that, that, that's just the right size, that's just you know it's big enough to get into ports that other bigger ships can't get into and that in a sense, it doesn't feel too big for you. So again, if you're new to cruising and you want to try a taste a cruise, this is a great opportunity because it's only a couple of nights and it's such good value. And, and if you just want a mini break or if you want to do some Christmas shopping with a fabulous wouldn't Christmas market. Wouldn't it make a great Christmas present? It would actually, it really would, yeah. You know, is it a little, a little kind of sneaky Christmas present, you know? Santa's it's, special. And it is, yeah, it's only £169 per person. Great single price of 269 as well. So we're cruising from Tilbury. I've never cruised from Tilbury, actually, Kate. Yeah, well, Tilbury's a port for London, of course, which yeah. is really, really ideal. So we've got a nice, easy place to get to. And then you're, you're heading down uh, the Thames and out, and you've got uh, a chance to go to Amsterdam. Um, this is tulips and wooden shoes, Heineken beer, and so much more. Rembrandt, Van Gogh, and Frank. You know, these wonderful bridges that are lit up by fairy lights at night. You must cruise... Uh, in one of the boat tours and see, see it on the water, it's a great thing to do. I always say Boomtown Chicago if you want to go and get an authentic one for just 10 people rather than the huge ones that have a couple of hundred. You can see the iconic windmills. Uh, hire a bike is another great way of seeing this amazing city. Uh, you know, map bike and various other places, you can just hire those very, very quickly and easily. They're friendly, car-free streets uh, and the Vincent van Gogh Museum is absolutely stunning. Plus Europe's largest open-air market the other cry out market which I recommend going to okay then from Amsterdam you're then going over to Antwerp uh, this is the world's leading centre for cut diamonds Sean so oh, when is you it? Wanna, oh there you go you then you know, there's some Christmas shopping this is it I'll be are I'll you be, thinking of buying a diamond ring don't mention too? Melanie and diamonds this is going to put me in trouble <laughs> um, so this is incredible you, it's cobbled streets picturesque parks pretty squares, Belgium's second largest city, great chance to try some of the iconic chocolate and beer that they produce, maybe sit down and have a relaxing coffee in one of the cafe terraces, or of course, go and get your loved one a relaxing, relaxing, sparkling diamond, or you can, oh, go, you through, it again. You can go through to Bruges or, or Brussels as well, yeah, they're Bruges nearby, is nice, isn't it? Uh, really fantastic, yeah, Bruges really But you, know, you, could, you could get some great Christmas gifts, couldn't you, something really special here. There's a great fine art museum there as well, where people like Rubens have got lots of their work there. Uh, and then back, of course, to Tilbury. Now, it is a half price offer. Let's remind it's really good, this one, isn't it? For, I say, uh, a mini cruise, and it's been years since we featured one. So, half price, and um, that's in the lead price. Christmas market special, so grab some last minute Christmas presents in Amsterdam and Antwerp. And you're actually on board, not two nights, but it's actually three nights here. Well, it's, well, it's three nights on board. You know, you've got all your food, you've got all your entertainment. It's you're going to go a chance there to do some Christmas shopping, get some mulled wine, some Glutwein. I think the Germans call it. It's called Glutwein over in the. Oh, it's gorgeous. Spiced wine. I'm just saying, that works out less than £60 a night, doesn't it? It's, yeah, I think, if I'm, if I'm just going to use my brains here, £57 per person per night, Sean. Oh, well done, Kate. I know. I'm impressed. You'd have thought I had it written down. <laughs> um, but I'm, you know, really say nice to feature something a little bit different there as well from Cruise and Maritime, and that is actually a half price offer. Uh, now, from a mini cruise to an epic, okay? <laughs> this is it. The saga 30, continues. Yeah, 31 nights. Highlights include New Zealand, Australia, and you're going to be cruising from Singapore. Now, um, I do know that, again, we featured this a little while ago. Um, I think it was for 2015 dates, and it went absolutely crazy. And when you see what, what's included here and the amazing ports of call, it's really special. So, sit back, relax. We're going to take you on a journey, starting with a flight to Singapore. And as you can see, we're the number one travel agent for celebrity cruises in the UK. Another one that we're number one for. Now, we've got a great chance to go to Singapore. As Sean said, a five-star hotel, a two-night stay there. 
Um, you've also got included in that Singapore by Night Tour, which is a fantastic great thing for you. And this is an opportunity for you to uh, maybe shop and get some Gucci and Vuitton on Auction Road. Go and enjoy the night safari over 900 nocturnal animals. Go and enjoy some of the wide open parks. One of the only, one of only two cities in the world that retains a patch of virgin rainforest, which is incredible. Is it quite a big patch? It's quite a, it's a large patch. I say patch, don't, don't think your local allotment, Sean. You know, <laughs> think, you know, think, think Greenwich Park times about 20. Oh, you know, really? Incredible. Yeah, oh, it's wow. brilliant. Um, it's an amazing city for architecture. You've got Raffles, um, Raffles Hotel there. You can go get Singapore Sling and Malong Bar. And then you've got uh, the amazing, that Marina Bay Sands Hotel that's been raised and placed on top of those three skyscrapers. Um, it's an incredible place. You've also got Clark's Key that you've just seen pictures of there. Another great place to get some food in the evening and do some shopping, see some of the street entertainment. It's a magical city. Wow, and that's only the start, of course. You're there for two nights and then you embark the most beautiful ship from, of course, Celebrity. Um, I'm a big fan of Celebrity, as many of you will know, as is Keith. You've got your cruise with your new girlfriend. In August, in August. with Celebrity, yep. Um, but no diamonds. <laughs> Let's take you on board. Yeah. With exceptional levels of service and a crew to guest ratio of one to two and well-designed and easy to navigate ships and a decor that's both sophisticated and contemporary, this is a cruise line who offer a very real sense of modern luxury. Celebrity cruises have always pushed the boat out when it comes to dining. Not just in the sheer choice, but also the quality of the food that they offer. Experience savour menus pairing classic and contemporary selections from casual alfresco dining through to the stunning main dining room. And of course, there's an appetising range of quirky, excellent speciality restaurants. Matching a bar to your mood is what Celebrity does best. And there's a great range of beverage and wine packages offering great value. You can top up the tan while enjoying a margarita by the pool, or use your sea pass card and help yourself to another great glass of vino in Cellar Masters. You can soak up the sounds of the big band in the passport bar, or try one of the 64 craft beers available on board. My favourite though has to be here at the Molecular Bar, where tasting the work of the liquid chef will engage all your senses. Life on board Celebrity Cruises is an opportunity for you to enjoy your holiday just as you want it. From relaxing by the pool with a good book to a whole host of exhilarating and unique experiences, the choice really is yours. Cooking competitions, mythology classes, dance and language classes, informative lectures and behind the scenes access to the inner workings of a modern day cruise ship. When the sun sets, celebrity ships come alive with a dazzling selection of bars, lounges, nightclubs and casinos. You can relax with a cocktail, meet new friends, take to the dance floor or hit the casino tables. But keep an eye out for the interactive theme parties. You may even find dancers in exquisite costumes suddenly appear to entertain you. There's West End style theatre shows, dance, comedy, magic, music and an extraordinary front row seat waiting just for you. On a celebrity cruise, luxury comes as standard. There are six different varieties to choose from and over 85% have a private balcony. The design is smart, fresh and contemporary and all offer a great range of sumptuous amenities such as fluffy bathrobes, deluxe toiletries, Egyptian cotton bed linen and 24-hour complimentary room service. From comfortable inside staterooms to these gorgeous suites which feature floor-to-ceiling windows, panoramic balconies and your very own private butler. Trust me, once you've unpacked, you won't ever want to leave. I tell you what, if you're going to be on a cruise ship for the best part of a month, you want it to be absolutely superb, and I know it will be with Celebrity. Right then, Keith, I've not been to any of these ports. Okay, uh, here we go. Here we go. Seat belts on. I'm Sit ready. back, relax, here goes the roller coaster. Okay, so you're getting on board Celebrity Solstice. You've got a couple of relaxing days at sea to enjoy this amazing scenery, the beautiful hot weather, and loads to see as you sail off to your first port of call in Indonesia, one of the 18,000 islands, Bali. That's your first port of call, a magical place. Calling into Benoa is a great launching point. It's an island of undulating hills, thick with terraced rice paddies and fields of banana and coffee, miles of pristine beaches, some of the world's top spas, dense court forests haunted by gregarious long-tailed monkeys that swing through the trees alongside you and hundreds of serene and otherworldly temples and whatever you do make sure you watch the ketchup which is the island traditional fire dance more relaxing days at sea before you go to darwin closer to indonesia than any other australian city named after charles darwin who stopped here on hms beagle in 1839 it's the capital of australia's vast and sparsely populated northern territory miles of pristine beaches again you've got the famous botanical gardens the charles darwin national park but best of all the world heritage listed kakadu national park lush rainforests giant termite mounds and the jesus bird that walks on water 
relaxing days at sea then, before we go through to Cairns, one of Australia's most exciting destinations, home to some of the world's greatest natural wonders, because from here you've got the 26 miles of the famed Marlin Coast, you've also got um, a great chance to go through to Corunda, which is home to parrots, butterflies, platypus and freshwater crocodiles, and you've got a great chance to explore the Great Barrier Reef. And talking of the Great Barrier Reef, your next port of call is Arley Beach. And this is another opportunity to really enjoy it. It's part of the Whitsunday Islands. And again, this is like paradise just for you. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's where you're going to be. Look at it and weep. I do every night, looking at my photos, weeping that I'm not back there right that moment. Okay, a relaxing day at sea before we go to Bris Vegas. It says Brisbane, but the locals call it Bris Vegas. 600 miles north of, of Sydney, a surface paradise, your gateway to the golden sunshine coasts. You can head inland to Mount Tambourine uh, for the fertile parklands full of macadamia, nut, avocado and kiwi fruit. And of course, you can go to Steve Irwin's zoo or Head down the river and cuddle a koala oh. at here, the Lone Piler Koala Sanctuary. Like nothing on earth, they give the best hugs. What do they feel like? Really cuddly. Are they really cuddly? Yeah, really, really cuddly. Oh. The only thing that's better is having a hug from Melanie. Um, relaxing day at sea. Because I put my foot in it last time, didn't I? It's yeah. the other way around. Then we go to Sydney. Okay, um, then we're in Sydney, right. Um, you've got Sydney Opera House here, of course, where you dock right by. Um, I hope so. And you've got this wonderful uh, masterpiece of modern architecture. You've got the Sydney Harbour Bridge that the, the, the locals refer to as the coat hanger. You've got the Blue Mountains on your front doorstep you can head out and enjoy. You've got the, the history of the, the rocks uh, to go and explore as well. And of course, the great beaches. Take the ferry over to Manly. Maybe do the beach walk uh, from Coogee Beach along to Bronte Beach. There's so much to do here. Eat, eat some of the wonderful food in many of the restaurants. Um, the biggest, the most beautiful, all head to Sydney, and you can see this. It's a very, it's a city that lives in the outdoors. Then we're going through to, okay, wow, uh, we've got the, basically New Zealand fjords. You've got Dusky Sound, Doubtful Sound, and Milford Sound. Think the Nor Norwegian fjords, but even bigger. Um, then we're going through to in New Zealand to Dunedin. This is uh, basically a little, a little slice of Scotland, home to New Zealand's only castle. You'll think like you've landed in Edinburgh, but you're in New Zealand. Then you're going to Akaraua in New Zealand. It sits on the eastern shores of the South Island. A little slice of France this time, sitting amongst the shadows of the snow-capped Southern Alps. You've also got the rare Hector Dolphin that you can see here. A relaxing day at sea before you go through to, to Taranga. Um, and uh, here, you've got an overnight. And this is great because this is really after being settled in the 13th century by the Maori, it's a great chance for you to explore the Bay of Plenty, which Captain Cook named. You also go through to Roatua, exploding mud pools, springs and geysers, loads of the, basically the heart of the Maori people. It's a great chance place to go to. Then you're going to Auckland, uh, a wonderful old city built on an active volcano, volcano, volcanic field of over 60 separate volcanoes. Uh, you can go to the Devonport and Waikiri Ranges. Uh, you can explore forests, beaches, farmland, vineyards. And of course, you can trace back some of the history of the Lord of the Rings films here. Finally, you've got the Bay of Islands. This has some of the world's most finest beaches, and it's the ideal place to go mountain biking, parasailing, swimming with dolphins, scuba diving. You've got more relaxing days at sea before you're back to Sydney. Forgive me because I feel like I've only scratched the surface. Oh, I'll tell you what though. But it's incredible. I, I can see why this has been a top seller uh, in the past. It, I thought it was amazing, it really was. It's, it's a stunning itinerary. Uh, just quickly, obviously, I was just looking at the price of the flights alone. They're included, your transfers, you've got the, the two nights in that five-star hotel in Singapore, uh, and the uh, Singapore by night tour. Yeah, overnight, of course, uh, in, in that gorgeous part of New Zealand. And you've got to remember the ability to add on two nights post cruise in Sydney. Just quickly, by the way, to speak to our cruise consultants and talk about all the different uh, staterooms that Service can offer, including concierge class as well, which can offer you so much more. But say, talk to our cruise consultants and they'll tell you a lot more. Wow, what a, what a way to finish the show. Right, I need to get my breath back. Um, <laughs> I remind everyone of all the, uh, the six cruises. We had something for everyone tonight, didn't we? But we started off with Thompson. This really, really will be a big seller tonight. Um, only one date. It's a repositioning cruise from Dubrovnik to Malaga. We don't get these very often at all. And you are getting a free upgrade. You get an outside cabin for 4 dollars tonight. Um, they're based on Birmingham flights. We have got other UK airports available with just small supplements. Then... We moved on to Princess. I thought this was amazing. This is your chance of being on board the Royal Princess. A beautiful 12-night British Isle cruise from Southampton. It's a flash sale offer. We've already sold out of certain staterooms, but we have got the inside available there, 859. 
and some other staterooms available on uh, the dates on the 1st of August and the 13th there as well. Then, of course, Norwegian Cruise Line on board the Norwegian Gem. 60 nights, you get to see the Niagara Falls, New York, and of course, a Caribbean cruise. My advice would definitely be to go for the Ocean View, where you'll get the free all-inclusive drinks package as well. We then had an amazing offer from Viking Cruises. So lots of 2015 dates have sold out. Uh, these are for 2016 there. And so much is included as well. Free Wi-Fi, complimentary wine, beer, and soft drinks. Uh, and flights are from five UK airports, no supplements for those, and you get two nights stay in a first class hotel in Lisbon. Then uh, a cheeky little cruise with Cruiser Maritime for Christmas, Christmas markets there, uh, 169, that is half price. So you can see that um, the reduction is included in that lead price. So it's now 169 as well. And your chance to uh, grab in some great Christmas presents. And then finally, the Big E, I mean, you're going to be away for 31 nights here with Celebrity, five-star modern luxury at its very, very best. And you get to see so much of the world. All your return flights are there. You get two nights in that five-star hotel in Singapore, of course, and uh, the Singapore by night tour, and those overnights, as we mentioned there as well. Now, Keith and I are always with you on a Tuesday, but don't forget, we've got a great show every Friday at 11 a.m. And even if you can't watch it, even if you work, record, record it. Record it, yeah. Absolutely. Or Justin, watch it Justin will be on the show. We'll be back. Loads more great deals for you. So honestly, do watch that or watch it online as well. And to be part of the show, you can always get interactive via Twitter, Facebook. You can subscribe to us on YouTube and email us hello at planetcruise.co.uk. Wow. Well, can we say thank you to everyone that's watched. Keith, you've got some shout outs. I do, you? yeah. Patricia's been going crazy. Thank you to all of you. So we've got uh, hello to Nick, Nick Tavender. Uh, glad you booked that Cunard deal. Uh, Holly Cowan, hello. We've got Greg Smith. Did the alarm work? I hope it did, Greg. Uh, we've got Karen Davis. Uh, yes, we did love the sunshine. Thank you. Andrea Pritchard. How's the Prosecco? <laughs> Sharon Veal, hello to you. We've got KD as well. Hello to you. Uh, Helen Grime and also Bev Chapman. Thanks for getting in touch. Sonny Davidson, she just booked tonight. So I'll say thank you to Maria at Planet Cruise who booked for her. Karen says you're a bully. <laughs> oh, thanks, Karen. Uh, and they've got Susan J. Gray and also Kate, who says she loves tuning in for our bromance every week. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the bromance is going a bit stale, actually. But <laughs> I'm only joking. So too. that's at, at Planet Cruise for, on Twitter or at Beefy Keithy yeah. to get in touch with um, us. And I just want to say, if you've never booked a cruise, maybe you've watched the show several times, but you still haven't booked a cruise, do it tonight. You'll never know how good the service, the food, the atmosphere, the facilities are. They're amazing, aren't they? The best you can have. And such good value. Such good value. Um, we'll be here next week as ever. Stay tuned. There are loads more coming after this, but book your cruise tonight. You certainly will never.